Hey guys, today's product review is on the Vibrite breakboard. There's no doubt you've seen this board all over social media. I mean, Vibrite have been on a fairly relentless marketing campaign. But yeah, they sent me a complete to review, to check out, to do a video on. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. So first off, I want to actually talk, you know, break aside, is this board actually fairly good? And yes, it is. It's based on the Arba 40 axis longboard. So it comes from a reputable brand that does make pretty decent longboards. It rides really well. The deck is flexy. The trucks are based on Paris trucks, the knockoffs, but they also seem fairly high quality, like they'll last you a long time. So altogether, it rides pretty decently. However, I'd say the wheels are the biggest weakness. At only 70 millimeters in height, with no car, they don't accelerate all that well and don't have great momentum retention. Like I, had, I felt like I had to keep pushing and pushing in order to keep their speed up. And the big problem is, these wheels are specifically designed for the brake system, so they're not easy to replace at all. I think Vibride would have a much better complete if they used 80 millimeter wheels instead of these small 70 millimeter ones. But finally, let's talk about the actual braking system while you guys are here. I'm going to talk about how effective it is and how it compares against traditional forms of slowing down on your skateboard, you know, foot braking, sliding, power sliding, etc. To try to keep this review short, yes, the brake pedal works and it works fairly decently when just cruising around in a relaxed environment it's made skateboarding feel almost effortless i don't really have to worry about slowing down all that much i don't have to go through the physical exertion of foot braking you know planning to foot brake balancing on my board taking my foot off putting it on the ground i don't have to worry about my shoe wearing down but it only excels in a specific environment where you know there are no emergency situations you know, where there's nothing that's gonna force you off your board or where you need to stop very suddenly. Um, where, you know, you, you have a very controlled, relaxed skating pace, you know, where you're not going that fast, where there are no um, sudden drops or steep declines or incline or whatever. So let me explain why. Braking on this board is actually very gradual. It doesn't bring you to a stop suddenly, and sometimes that can put you in dangerous situations. Compared to foot braking, a foot brake will slow you down faster than this. F from the same speed, foot braking takes a shorter distance to bring you to a complete stop. So sometimes I don't feel very confident using this board, you know, in the city where a bike might cut me off or a truck might suddenly turn in. I prefer to have it in controlled environments where nothing is gonna need me to suddenly come to a stop. And with foot braking being more effective, I much prefer it for skating in those everyday situations. And I've gotten to the competency where I can put like a ton of foot braking pressure down, but with this, it's a little bit um, trickier. The other thing that's really tricky about this is that the braking force really diminishes when you're on a hill or when you're going super fast. When you're going super fast, like you're not able to really apply the brakes and really come to a stop very well when using this board. For braking sliding, they slow you down very, very well from speed, but this, it's, it's too gradual. And if especially if you're on an incline, right? it feels like it'll slow you down to some to a point or to a certain speed but because of the incline it's like the pull of gravity on you literally cancels out the braking power so you're literally just there still moving despite being fully on the brakes
so yeah so that's why i ultimately don't really recommend taking this board down any hills unless you're descending very slowly from the top where you're fully on the brakes from the top but if you do have any sort of speed you know you're just really asking for trouble so i don't recommend you you know you do what they've advertised you know which is taking this board down hills going fast with it i do not recommend that and to add to that this really isn't the type of board that you want to go fast on right it's very flexy has very tiny trucks and that's just a recipe for speed wobbles but yeah i mean i did have a lot of fun on this board like the brakes do make a lot of sense and they were really fun in a controlled environment the other thing i think these brakes are really great for like um you know people with disabilities people who aren't able to skate in the traditional way and this allows them to enjoy skateboarding longboarding without really having to worry about to slow down so i do think this board has its place and whilst me and my friends had so much fun with it you know when you look at the cost you know you're paying upwards of 200 bucks for the brake kit alone and then you're paying upwards of 360 bucks or about there for the complete looking at that cost looking at the cost of shoes the cost of brake soles you know it literally costs 20 bucks to get a piece of rubber super glued to your shoe and that shoe can last you years right it just doesn't make sense you know unless you're not able to you know physically foot brake i don't really think this board is worth the investment as is if you're looking for a more in-depth review where i go over like you know does this thing rattle spoiler it does you know more about the trucks more about blah 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 how it fares up against like sliding hills blah 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 speed you know whether that leaning back position gives you wobbles spoiler it doesn't really check out the in-depth write-up link in the description but yeah i mean i had a ton of fun using this board i had genuinely a blast but ultimately for me it's a gimmick like i'm gonna make all my friends try this board i'm gonna make all my downhill skater friends use it to get down a hill maybe even do like a race series on it but i don't think uh it's gonna be a board that i pull out of my quiver time and again i think it's just gonna be there as a cool novelty thing um, i do think they could improve it you know bigger wheels bigger brakes a different platform would be better all around but for me yeah thank you for watching this review i hope it's been informative any questions leave a comment i'll get to it or someone else will get to it and yeah thank you for watching